Joe Spencer here from Bow Wolf Builders. We are today adjusting doors. Uh, the doors were installed six months ago, front and back door. Any door that faces the external changes uh, due to temperature, humidity, etc., in the air, moisture. Um, now, any piece of timber uh, will change in size by 0.1% for every 10 degrees or 10% humidity in the air. So if these were installed during summer, which they were, it's now winter, the degrees between outside and inside is different because we have heating and stuff like that. So the door itself has now grown 0.5%. So when I say 0.5%, I'm talking it's an 800 millimeter door. 1% of 800 millimeters is eight mil, um, and it's 0.5 of that, so it's four mil the door's grown. You can see down the side there that we have just got light coming through. So if we go all the way down, you can see that it's touching and it's mainly touching only in the centre section. The reason that it mainly only touches in the centre section is because we've got a top rail and a bottom rail which ties the whole thing together and the middle section is a separate piece with the grain running, grain running long ways. So that allows for it to expand. It allows to, for it to breathe, timber being a natural product. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the door off, uh, we'll take off the furniture, and then we'll bring it outside, plane it down, um, make sure it fits, and then reseal the whole thing. So stay tuned. Now, when doing the hinges, we always leave one screw in the bottom and one screw in the top. This way it makes it easier that we can always take the door off slowly so we don't manage to damage the door or the floors. A timber wedge is always very handy. This actually comes from my door stop. I'll show you my door stop. Um, it's what we slip the door into so it can't fall over. So now we've got the door down, it's off its style, so what we've put it in is the door stop, the old school door stop, uh, can't move anywhere. We'll mark our door down where we need to, which is a 3 mil line the whole way through, like such. We can see with our flick line the inconsistency of the door. So we're three mil down here, we're three mil down here, and we're missing by five mil in the centre, which means the whole door has got a bow in it around. So we've got a big bow in the door. So when planing, we start in the centre and then we'll work our way out, always following the grain.
then what we'll do is we'll chuck the door up, see how it sits, and then if we need to, we'll take a little bit more off. Once we have the door swinging um, and it closes properly in and out, then we take the block plane, and this is palm plane or block plane, sits in the palm of your hand, and all we do is we just arras the door. We can do this outside, we can do it inside, it doesn't really matter too much. We just have to make sure that we get the bottoms of the door as well to even it all up. We don't want to take too much off, what we want to do is just make sure it's got a nice rounded edge so it doesn't um, splinter or break off. So all we do is just give it a pencil round and we can run our fingers up and down it and then you'll see the difference. After reinstalling the door, you will then need to readjust all of your furniture. Um, due to the, taking the front edge off, we've had to re chisel this out, bring it back, only 3mm, but it was just that amount that we planned off the front of the door. Um, make sure all of your furniture is working properly, and then make sure that you don't need to trim anything off the actual door style itself. Making sure it works, beautifully done.